Hello everybody, it's Vinyl Rich here, and Vinyl Finds number 42, cheers. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a Doctor Strange cooler, I guess, I don't know what you call those things. I went to Doctor Strange Records today, he gave me a bumper sticker, which I will not use, and a card. I picked up some... Mostly uh, 7 inches, a couple of 12 inches, and uh, first time i ever been there, first time I heard of uh, Doctor Strange Records was a uh, Corey 33 and a thirds uh, video. Record stores across America, and uh, it's a great, it's a great little record store, I mean it's a medium sized record store, great store in a nice little area. It's a really cool store. First one I got here is a 7 inch. It's an EP by The Freeze and it's on Doctor Strange Records. It's a new some new recordings by The Freeze. Very cool. And it's on uh, black vinyl. Very cool uh, 7 inch. Let me get these over here. Okay. The second one I got here is another 7 inch. It's on Doctor Strange Records. Broken Bones. This is also a new recordings. And uh, I learned that the singer on this is the same singer that's on the new Discharge uh, album. So I. I kind of I like this. He played this for me in the store, and uh, Ground Ground Down Zine said that the new uh, Discharge album is really good. This was he put this little uh, promo for Doctor Strange Records. So I think I might check out the new Discharge because I, I really did like the singer. And uh, this one is a limited edition on colored vinyl, and uh, his prices at Doctor Strange Records are really fair I mean though the first one was four dollars and that second one was 490 and now uh, some more older stuff this is a compilation from the uh, England it's total what is it total noise number one it's got uh, the business the gonads blitz and Dead Generation really cool EP I remember this EP back in the 80's I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that the camera I kinda set it up for but uh, pretty cool and uh, excellent shape all these records well the first two were new but all these used ones are all in excellent shape one of them is in very good plus the next one is The Business, Smash the Disco's uh, single. This is the first one. This came out in 1982. They did have a reissue of this. came out in 88. It has a picture of the band on the front. But uh, Side A has Banana Boat Song, the non-disco version. And Side Double A has Disco Girls and Smash the Disco. And this is on Secret Records. Anybody that knows the UK punk, uh, 80's punk, they know that label. This next one here is a band. I have two of their albums, but I don't have any. I didn't have any of their uh, singles, and it's Conflict. This one came out in '83, and this is on uh, Mortar Hate Records. The Serenade is dead. EP and uh, it's got the conflict logo now this next one is another conflict this one is a little probably uh, rare I guess it's on crass records and this one came out in 82 and it it opens up like all crass records you know they the albums open up into posters and this is my first crass record single and it opens up like that and 
the Crass record label. And this is the house that man built. As I said, this came, that came out in 82. And I bought another Crass record single. And this is actually Crass. And this is in excellent shape, which is kind of unusual for Crass records. They're usually pretty tore up. I think the people that were into Crass back in the UK, they were pretty heavy partiers. And this is very cool. How Does It Feel by Crass. My first Crass 7 inch. I have uh, three of their albums, I guess. This is the first uh, 12 inch by GBH, Charged GBH. Great Bodily Harm is what the GBH stands for. This is their very first release other than that 7 inch single that has I believe the same picture on there. I have that and I believe their first they had he had the he had this and he had their uh, first album which I believe is this plus the single. I didn't pick that up. I kind of wish I would have. But anyways, this is really cool. This came out in 1981. A great band, Charge GBH. Um, excellent live band. And this is on Clay Records, I would think. This is the... And there's the Clay logo. And the last record I got here, it's another 12 inch. I've never seen this. Very rare. It even says it's a limited edition, but it, apparently it's got an extra song in there that uh, it wasn't supposed to or something. It's The Saints. This came out in 1977. It's uh, This Perfect Day and it backed with Lies. And it's not from the album, I guess the song Lies maybe. But it also has, and it's on Harvest, Harvest Records. But it's also got another song in here, Do the Robot. Kind of, it's printed on the, it's not like printed like the regular, but it's kind of, I don't know if it wasn't supposed to be on there, but it, there's this little sticker on here. And it says, important notice, due to the administrative error, this limited 12 inch pressing of the Saints, this perfect day, back with lies, single, contains a third additional title not available on the normal pressings. The additional title, Do the Robot, has consequently been withdrawn from future release consideration and will now be available only on this 12 inch pressing. Pretty cool. Australian punk band, The Saints. Pretty rare 12 inch by them. Dr. Strange Records and Rancho Cucamonga, very cool store. I will go back. Take care, guys and gals. Hey, Benji.